Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to crochet a sling bag using bead stitch. The materials required are 4 ply acrylic yarn, any two colors, 75 grams each, 4 mm crochet hook, stitch marker, scissors, blunt needle, a bead. Let's begin our project by making a slip knot. After completing the slip knot, work a chain 30 plus 2 extra chains. Now we have completed working our chain 30 plus 2 extra chains. For the round one, we are going to work into the third chain from the hook. So 1, 2 and 3. Into the third chain, we are going to work one half double crochet. Place marker in top of the first half double crochet. From the next chain, we are going to work one half double crochet into the next 28 stitches. So 1, 2, 3, so like this continue working until you reach the 28th chain. Now we have completed our working our 28 half double crochet, include the first stitch we will be having 29 half double crochet. Into the last chain we are going to work 3 half double crochet increase. So work 3 half double crochet increase into the last chain. After completing the increase place marker in first half double crochet increase. Now turn the arc and skip that loop and from the next loop we are going to work one half double crochet into the next 28 stitches. So first half double crochet, second half double crochet, third one. So like this continue working until you reach the 28th loop. Now we have completed working our 28 half double crochets and there will be one loop left alone. Into that loop we are going to work an increase. So work two half double crochet increase into the last loop. After completing the increase, place marker in the first half double crochet increase. Now we are in the end of the round one. So remove the marker and now we are going to work a slip stitch in top of the first half double crochet. For the next round, we are going to work chain 2 and 2 half double crochet increase into the same chain. After completing the first half double crochet, place marker in top of the half double crochet. And again into the same chain space, we are going to work one half double crochet increase. So this will be our second half double crochet increase. From the next chain we are going to work one half double crochet in 28 chains. So count it and work one half double crochet until you reach the 28th chain. Now we have completed working our 28 half double crochet and into the next 3 stitches we are going to work 2 half double crochet increase. So remove the marker and work 2 half double crochet increase into the next 3 stitches. After completing the first half double crochet increase, don't forget to place the marker. Into the second stitch, now we are going to work 2 half double crochet increase. And into the next chain, that is the third chain, we are going to work 2 half double crochet increase. So there will be 6 half double crochets. From the next chain we are going to work 1 half double crochet in next 28 chains. So count it and work until you reach the 28th chain.
now we have completed arcing of 28 half double crochet into the next two stitches we are going to arc and increase so remove the marker and arc two half double crochet increase once you have arced the first half double crochet increase don't forget to place the marker so into the next chain we are going to arc two half double crochet increase so there will be four half double crochet now we are in the end of our round two remove the marker and arc a slip stitch in top of the first half double crochet for the next round we are going to arc a chain two and into the same chain space work one half double crochet and into the top of the half double crochet place the marker So in this round into the next stitch we are going to arc and increase so arc two half double crochet increase from the next chain we are going to work one half double crochet so count it and arc one half double crochet in next 28 stitches Now we have completed arcing our 28 half double crochet. From the next chain we are going to work 1 half double crochet, 2 half double crochet increase for 3 times. So first half double crochet and next 2 half double crochet increase. Again 1 half double crochet and 2 half double crochet increase. Again 1 half double crochet. And two half double crochet increase. From the next stitch, we are going to work one half double crochet into the next 28 stitches. So count it and work until you reach the 28 stitch. Now we have completed arcing our 28 half double crochet. From the next stitch, we are going to work one half double crochet, two half double crochet increase for two times. So one half double crochet, and into the next chain, we are going to work two half double crochet increase. Again, one half double crochet, and again two half double crochet into the next chain. Now we are in the end of our round three. Remove the marker and we will be working slip stitch in top of first half double crochet. Here our base ends. Let's check for the inches. So 8 inches. For the round 4 we are working chain 2. And into the same chain space into the back loop we are going to work one half double crochet. And into the top of the half double crochet we are going to place a marker. And in this round 4 we are working in back loop of each and every stitches. So work one half double crochet in back loop all along the stitches. Now we have completed our round 4, remove the marker and work a slip stitch in top of the first half double crochet. Work a chain 1 and cut the extra yarn. Now we are going to add a new color, so make a slip knot. And insert it in any one of the chain and arc a chain one and one single crochet in same chain space after inserting the yarn arc a chain one 
and one single crochet in same chain space. Now place marker in top of the single crochet. From the next chain work one single crochet all along the stitches. Continue working one single crochet all along stitches. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 5. We are in the end of a round 5. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. After completing the slip stitch, work a chain 3. In this chain 3, we are going to work a bead stitch. So yarn over 3 times through chain 3. Seven loops on the hook come out of all six loops. Again, there will be two loops left alone come out of all two loops. After completing the bead stitch, place marker in chain 1 of bead. There will be two chains. Into the first chain, place the marker. After placing the marker, skip one stitch below and into the next stitch work a double crochet. So skip one stitch and into the next stitch work one double crochet. And into this double crochet we are going to work a bead stitch. So yarn over three times through the double crochet. Seven loops on the hook come out of all six loops. There will be two loops left alone come out of all two loops. Again skip one stitch below and into the next stitch work a double crochet and into that double crochet work a bead stitch. So yarn over three times. Seven loops on the hook come out of all six loops. Again two loops will be there come out of all two loops. Again skip one chain below and into the next chain work a bead stitch. So continue the same pattern throughout the round 6. Now we are in the end of a round 6, remove the marker and work a slip stitch. For the next round we are going to work a chain 1 and into the same chain space we are going to work one single crochet and in top of the single crochet place marker. In this round we are going to work one single crochet all along the stitches. So work one single crochet, again one single crochet, like this continue working one single crochet all along the stitches. Now we are in the end of a round 7, remove the marker and work a slip stitch. For the round 8 we are going to work a chain 3 and into the chain 3 work a bead stitch. So yarn over 3 times through the chain 3. 7 loops on the hook come out of all 6 loops. Again there will be 2 loops left alone come out of all 2 loops. Place marker in top of the chain 1 of the bead. There will be 2 chain on the bead. Place marker on the first chain. Skip the chain 1 below and into the next chain work a bead stitch. So work double crochet and into the double crochet yarn over 3 times through the double crochet 
there will be seven loops on the hook come out of all six loops again there will be two loops on the hook come out of two loops again skip one chain below and into the next chain or a double crochet and through the double crochet yarn over three times there will be seven loops on the hook come out of all six loops again there will be two loops on the hook come out of two loops continue the same pattern throughout the round eight the bead stitch is the repetition of two rows that is round six and round seven one round of bead stitch and one round of single crochet so repeat working the round six and round seven until you reach round 19. now we are in the end of our round 19 remove the marker and work a slip stitch Again, work a chain 1 and cut the extra yarn. For the next round, we are going to insert a new color yarn by making a slip knot. Insert in any one of the chain. After inserting, work a chain 1 and into the same chain space, work a single crochet and in top of the single crochet, place marker. After placing the marker, we are going to work one single crochet into the next chain. Again one single crochet. Like this, continue working one single crochet all along the stitches. Now we are in the end of our round 20, remove the marker and work a single crochet instead of a slip stitch. So this single crochet will be the first single crochet of next round, so place marker in top of the single crochet. For the 3 rounds we are going to work single crochet, so from the next stitch work one single crochet all along the stitches. So continue working single crochet for the next 3 rounds. Now we are in the end of a round 23, remove the marker and work a slip stitch. After completing the slip stitch, don't cut the yarn. Now we can mark 4 chains in both the corner for the strap. Now we have placed our marker on both the corner. For the round 1, we are going to work a chain 3 and skip the first chain below and into the next chain we are going to work 1 double crochet. Again into the next chain we are going to work 1 double crochet. Now remove the marker and into that chain we are going to work 1 double crochet. For the next round, we are going to work a chain 3. And turn the arc. Skip the first chain and into the next chain we are going to work one double crochet into the back loop. Again into the next chain we are going to work one double crochet into the back loop. And into the turning chain we are going to work one double crochet into the back loop. For the next row, we are going to work a chain 3 and turn the project. Skip the first chain and into the second chain, we are going to work 1 double crochet into the back loop. And in, into the next chain, we are going to work 1 double crochet into the back loop. And into the next turning chain, we are going to work the 1 double crochet. Like this, continue working the same pattern for your record length of the card. Now we have completed working our card. For our record length. Now we are going to attach the cord in the next corner where we have marked already. So we are going to remove the first marker and pull the yarn through the first chain. In this place we can work a chain 1 and also you can work a slip stitch. 
chain one and also you can slip stitch from the next chain we are going to arc a slip stitch so continue arcing the slip stitch in next three stitches Now we have completed our slip stitching. Now work a chain one and cut the extra yarn out. Weave in all the extra yarn by a blunt needle or a crochet hook. Now we are in the end of our video. So friends I hope you really enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Again I will be meeting you in the next video. Take care and bye bye.